Me say a soft law Shock you all Soft law They breathe say Whoa, 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 soft law Soft law, me shock you all Set that beat, father Set that beat, yeah Hey, soft law, you can turn up low They don't know what Hey, soft law Mother can get away with anything all right, welcome to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most, the son of the great Bob Marley, Ziggy Marley, his oldest boy, says he is not black, and everyone is in a uproar about it on the black side, not on that side. <laughs> the son of Bob Marley, Mr. Ziggy Marley, says he's not black. Before I even start reading this stuff, I'm going to take it from 18 karat reggae. But before I even start reading this stuff, right? I remember specifically, Bob Marley did an interview, right? I, it, it's still out there on YouTube. Bob Marley did an interview because YouTube me see it one of the most recent times I saw it. Where Bob Marley said, I am not black and I am not white. I'm something about... The God that I am and him, him worship the God that caused him to come from black and white, right? So, but of course, Bob Marley did champion African causes, our cause, and he did fight for liberation for African nations, and he did speak through his music about the unification of Africans worldwide. So, I don't know. Um, this thing here now with Ziggy Marley, why is it, why it's causing such an uproar? But I'm going to read this and then I'm going to give my two cents somewhere along the line and definitely at the end. So, this article says, When Ziggy Marley came out with his staunch support for apartheid Israel and no sympathy for the suffering Palestinians, we were the only reggae publication to criticize him. In fact, as far as we know, not one single Rasta who claimed to stand for justice for the oppressed dared to scold the son of the great Bob Marley. I specifically remember that and it did catch my attention. And um, quite honestly, I said to myself, damn, Ziggy gone over, they're going to take side with one against the other. I thought Rasta never mixed up in a damn thing there, you know? Like, but then seeing who he was married to, I was saying, um, well, I guess he's playing his cards right and sowing his seeds so his children and children's children will sit in a position of authority then as opposed to sitting in a position of, you know what I mean? I said, uh, squalor or whatever else comes that is not a position of authority. That's what I thought then when that happened. So... 18 Karat Reggae said, we were the only ones to point out that Ziggy was supporting evil oppression. Me never said all that. I'm reading what they wrote here. Me know who control all this, so me not going to talk out on the left side of my face. Alright? We're speaking in... Now, Ziggy has something he is saying to the world that you might think would anger us, but it does not. In his new song, which he is giving away for free, Ziggy Marley sings... I am not black. What the heck? Boy, your mama is as dark as me. And I am as dark as Shaka Zulu. You are black. So, we, why aren't we angry? Well, in this case, Ziggy is trying to promote love and unity amongst all human beings. A far cry from when he stood in front of a Jewish crowd and uttered a load of shizzle talking about I will continue to support Israel no matter what anybody says or does now he did stand in front of a crowd of um, a large crowd of Jewish individuals and did say that you know what I'm saying and I mean to each his own he has his own choices however that part where you said his mother is as black as night and you black she black like you and you black like Shaka Zulu and that means say he's black actually Actually, I've never been on TV before. Actually, they go off of the father. Okay? So, genetics is read from the dad. 
So for instance, a white woman has children by a black man. Her seeds are considered black. Even though in my world, they're still considered mixed. Because there's no way you can disqualify one side from the other of a makeup of an individual. Right? But to how they had it, they're saying that it goes off the dad. You are your father's seed. So, a black woman now has a child with a white man. Some will argue that because the black genes is that, that, that dominant, she will still bore black children. But if we must go off of what they said that the father is the determining factor in what race the child belongs to, then it's only right that we must say that when a white man impregnates a black woman, then those children are white. Now, the children might not come out looking white at all. They might very well come out looking just like how Bob Marley looked, right? Which could hang out with brown black people all day. And if you stay in the sun long enough, you wouldn't even know same did mix. It's just a high color skinned black man. Them kind of thing there. Alright. Moving on. Past the confusion. In the song aptly named I Am Human. Now I remember again. Let me stick a next pin. The song that Ziggy is promoting is called I Am Human. But I also remember when Ziggy said something about love is my religion. Now that did stick with me. Right? That did stick with me. Anyways. The song is called I Am Human. And Ziggy makes it clear that that is just what he is. Below are some of the lyrics from the song as I am about to read them. It says, I'm not a soldier. I'm not a jihadist. I'm not a Buddhist. I'm not Hindu. I'm not a what? I am a who? I'm not black and I'm not white. I guess that's where they have the problem at. But why should we point out that he said he's not black? He also said right away that he was not white either, right? Tell me, if this is why we fight, I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a Jew. It shouldn't matter to you. I'm not a capitalist and I'm not a communist. I'm not a socialist. I am not the politics. Tell me. Are these the reasons you can't live right? The article went on to say, I have to say that after Ziggy's ridiculous statement about supporting Israel and his performance in Israel following that statement, I lost all respect for him. Again, that is not me saying that. Quote unquote, that is coming from 18 karat reggae. I lost all respect for him, they said. I hope that this song, this song is sincere and he's not just singing what he thinks that people want to hear. Listen, Ziggy Marley's new song is called I Am A Human and let us know. So they want you to go and listen to Ziggy Marley's new song I Am A Human and let us know what you think about it. I also want you to go listen to the, to the song and let me know what you think about it. In closing, this I'm going to say. Remember Michael Jackson? When Michael Jackson said something about I'm black, I'm white, it doesn't matter something, yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically he was saying it shouldn't matter if you're black or you're white or whatever. Now, we can, we can try to cliche stuff all we want to, but we know that the society in which we live puts us squarely in one or the other of these boxes. You're either brown, yellow, white, black. As they have them color coded. I never met a um, yellow person before. I never met a white person before. Um, I've, met, I've met some black people before. I met talk about black, like the real color black. You know what I'm saying? So they do exist, but I'm just saying. Uh, also, what, baby? White looking black people. Yes, because the black people come in all different shades. We are from the palest of the palest to the darkest of the darkest. So, I mean, at the end of the day, here's my thing. I do remember when Ziggy said that about, and, and, and I mean, Israel was bombing the hell out of um, their neighbors there. And I, uh, I, I thought to myself, um, in a time like that, Ziggy stood up and said that. 
but I didn't make any qualms about it. I didn't make any videos about it either. I just thought, hey, he's one individual on the face of the earth, right? And there are literally billions of us here. So why me I go worry about what his choices are? People get flustered about what other people think they are. Who are we to define what other people think they are? You're here to live your gift, your life. Life is a gift. You got it. That's why you're here. You're here to live that gift. Why spend it worrying about what other people think about themselves? Worry about what you think about you. Right? No, I mean, some of us may be confused as hell. You're black as night walking around saying you're white and all that other stuff. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still your life to live. Your decisions to make. You define who you are to you. Right? That's just my belief. My thing is all about coexisting. Because earth wasn't made for just one or the other. It was made for all. And we all have to live here and we all have to share it. And when we leave, for those of us who have populated or repopulated, our seeds will have to carry on here. So if we frig up the place and left it all crazy for them, then they're just going to be living in a crazy world. So come, send out some good deeds, sow some good karma, breed, multiply, whichever way you want to put it. That's our purpose here. Replenish earth. And when your time comes, you will leave as well. And whatever you thought about yourself the whole time you were here should be your business. That's just my thought. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me hear what you think about this one. I don't agree with everything that Ziggy Marley has stood for in the past or even now. And I'm sure there are lots of people out there that don't agree with everything that I say. But that is what makes the world beautiful. We have different life experiences. Therefore, we have different thought processes formed. And we have different opinions. The beauty is when we can share our differences and still have common mutual respect for each other. Yeah? Big up on yourself. I Soul Flow TV. I'm out. Peace. Whoa, 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 Soul Flow. Huh? Alright, so for those of you who don't know, Cargo has released his gospel album. The name of the album is Spirit. And the album is doing very well. Matter of fact, stay tuned because we're going to do a review of that album. Alright? In the meantime, you can go support the artist by picking up the album on his independent label right here so www.cargonians.com